three years of his career, he was undefeated on Jinx. This is that pick that people wonder about. Notice this is an Urgot mid lane. This is gonna be was bad cleaver into, yeah. There's a bot lane, Lahens caught yeah, Lahens has to flash very quickly, but Mata flashes on top of him. They really want first blood over here for Dev. The ultimate flies down, Lahens, no more mobility available. And there's not a lot of damage, but he still should get taken out. The Zap not going to connect. Mata looking for Viper. Smev teleported in, first blood does go over to Mata, but the double kill comes in as Smev picks up the next one and survives. Up and going bot lane where you'll get no real resistance from Viper is a good way to get the first blood turret. It's in the bot lane. Yep, and that's our so Finally, showing a bit of aggression, he's getting some friends. Yep, we got Lehens coming up with the Abyssal Voyage. Smev doesn't have the ultimate, remember guys, his flash still on cooldown. He gets kidnapped and he gets just So many unique variables are here that whatever anecdotes I have, we've never had these chance together a sword pops the righteous glory. Can he actually take him down? Yeah, World Ender has been popped already here by Smeb, and Sword just looks like he's waiting it out. The slow comes in from the Vorpal Spikes. Can't get out of the way. The Umbral Dash is there. Ultimate still up here, but no, he goes down and Sword! Already here on the bottom side. So can they utilize this to get any more Mountain Drake? Yep, Score. all of them are going to get up here. Escort just face checks on purpose. Yukal's in there. Great gravity field pulls two of them in. As there's the flash to get out of the way of the kidnap. Tarzan gets no one, but KT unable to follow up. Yukal gets pulled back. Mata puts himself in the right position. Sword is here to try and get the flank as the teleport comes in. They're away from the Jogath. KT have made it a 4v4 and Sneb turns up with the AoE damage. Toby goes golden in the middle of the fight and gets the disdain on the Aatrox who can't do anything. Goblets now in, the, in amongst this fight is Deft will be able to clean them up, and that's the kill. Going over to KT, can they get more? Score, looking for the Arctic Assault, they're under the turret now as Devour is gonna spit out Sword. Oh! It's a lower cooldown, it's, oh my god, the damage! Onto Yukal, and Chovy gets out once again. Deft yes. is excited, flashes, gets the second, into the third, no! Viper! And Viper's popping off in the back line. This is a Kaiser that shouldn't be this strong yet, but he is! He's able to do it, can he get the fourth? Oh, it's so close to the Quadra kill, and Griffin with the gosh! Ability level and team fights we've been treated to I by both teams. Yeah, exactly. First, Dragon is going to go over to Griffin for them. That's going to be traded for the top lane out of turret, but mid lane still getting sieged on here by KT and is very low on the side of Griffin. Score looking for his opportunity. He's in position to get that ult over the wall as Supercharge is going to be used by Viper. That's now on cooldown as Def. Oh man, that does a lot of damage. And both could definitely come out and bridge the session. Here we yep. go, though. In goes Tarzan. It's a good knockback, though, and he can't really get into position. Abyssal Voyage right on top of Lahens has no one in his belly. That's the kidnap coming in. His score flashes his way out, but it's a killer instinct from Viper. Flashes forward, gets the first kill, and there's the stopwatch to keep himself alive. Smeb jumps his way in, and the Infernal Chains are going to bring back Lahens. The fight is going front to back, but the top side fight is won by Griffin, and it's a 2 0 as the dust settles. Tarzan was able from Sword that did have vision of it. And the first rupture is not going to land. In goes Tarzan. Great positioning and depth. He got just eliminated from the fight. It's Viper that grabs that kill. The teleport comes in from Smeb. He'll need to be a god if he's going to get this fight to work in their favor. But they're underneath the turret. Chovy doesn't care. He's got a gargoyle stone plate. He's unkillable. And Griffin give up on KT. They want Baron. Oma Jinx goes down they for breakfast. At least Sword is definitely going to. AP Kaisa, the beast, secure speed. Be able to take this bottom out of turret. It's going to be their second of the game only. They continue to Again, there were whispers of mid game mid lane Urgot, but the top lane Urgot was the expectation. I mean, he's not dying unless he really Well, he's up. just going to engage a fight underneath the turret here as well. His Banshee's Bell finally gets popped as Marta. The ultimate gets so much value and Viper sidesteps. Viper's he's behind. Chovy gets himself onto the turret. Was tanking it for a moment, but he's going to survive. Marta are the only one to fall here, but they get the prize that they wanted. Viper knows he can frontline tank the turret with his stats, but come back with teleport anyway. Here comes Viper. Goodbye, in a turret. Yeah, in a turret's going to fall. Can they get even more? Super Mega Death Rocket flies in from Def just to try and help. It feels like they're just too tanky. Well, in goes Tarzan once again. He's going to take a lot of damage as Viper finally able to get some damage into this fight. Takes down the out in a turret. As there's the supercharger. Viper. Puts himself behind. Chaos Storm's in there. He takes down the Jinx. Doesn't even have to look for it as he's continuing to find even more. She does fall down as Yukal has a lot of damage availability. Can they actually win this fight? Is the question as Marta is playing the front line. The victor grabs the kill and somehow KT have done it.
vision available here as they see the charge up of the Elastic Slingshot. Good at Arctic Assault there from Scorbut. Meanwhile, on the bottom side of the map, Yukal is getting attacked by Sword. Gargoyle Stone Plate is in there as Score now off on his own, trying to fight Toby. And the rest of Griffin are just going to get fear beyond death. He's going to pick up the kill on the Piggy, and now Death trying to kite as best he can, but he's just going to go down. This is the Viper Show as he's playing frontline. Can Marta kill him? They do manage to take him down. Smeb's gigantic, but he just gets the hell out of the fight. Spots the fact that the Elder Drake has spawned the Griffin. They've won this one. I don't think they can win the game, though, with no AD carry. Do they have enough damage to do it? Ergot does decently, but he's not a superstar in that way. They're wasting time on the side as well. No ability to interrupt. Yep. Smeb just trying to buy time. He's going to, but he's going to die. Remember, the World Ender was on cooldown from that last fight. And that's just going to be him throwing away his life after the teleport. They'll take down the inhibitor. Can they actually win the game here? We've got 20 seconds on the clock of death. No, you no do, nine, they, eight. They cannot because score will come up. He will slow down. The Baron buff as another Super Mega Death Rocket flies in. They're checking the wrong buff. They'll hear the Elder Drake scream in a few moments. Nothing they can do about that. It will be picked up. Choke yeah. down. Gets tagged by the Void Seeker. Now has to watch his position. As in goes Viper. He's going to start the fight yet again. And the ultimate goes wide from Score. Infernal Chains are good on the hands, but he's got the great health. Score now finds himself right in the back line. Chaos Storm is great damage on the side of KT. And it's a big knock up that comes in. But Dev is going to die yet again. And it looks like it's the wipe. And Griffin, they've won yet another team fight, and this will be the game. That's going to be the GG. The death ball with the tanks and the AP Kaiser is too damn strong. And Griffin will go up 1-0. The Royal Road is very much still on. It certainly is. This is game one of a best of five, guys. We have to remember that. This has already been such an epic match. I highly doubt we're going to see Vipers Kaiser ever again in this series. But damn, it was a treat to watch this game as the Nexus does fall down. Game one, go to the Royal Rotors in Griffin. Katie Rolster had